The nature here is kind of insane. The mountains, the shore, it's spectacular. So far we have seen uh, eagles uh, catching fish in the water, it's been amazing. And then, of course, we have been seeing some uh, beautiful, nature. beautiful nature, yeah, of course, landscape in general. Uh, it's amazing out here. I'm excited to be here, it's my first international lion event and I'm just looking super much forward to playing and learning a lot from it and getting the experience. Man, it's my Sunday game tomorrow, we're gonna play. How do you feel? Already? Uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's nice that we have like uh, two days before playing the first game. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can uh, chill a bit at home and prepare. We're going in against the uh, Masonic, and I feel like uh, as a team we are pretty confident. Uh, a little bit nervous, and I think the first couple of rounds we have to get used to the environment and just get into the game. But after that, I think we're gonna be good. So I signed with Masonic uh, recently. I think played there for 16 days, so we haven't gained that much experience together, but it's my first time trying an event like this, so I think it can pull us together. Du skal du behøver ikke rush in backup man. Du skal bare sådan spille, du ved, trade tiles and dildo hvis det er. Og på den der flash så kan du gøre sådan her. Og så gå med hvis du synes det er nice. So coming into this event, I think it's fairly clear cut that the top 5 teams can win this event. Any team on a good day can win a best of three and go further on in the bracket. Masonic aren't in that conversation. Their recent run of form isn't there. The roster changes are really struggling. So I see absolutely no way that Masonic can even get through the first game against Malzonix team. I feel like we are in a position right now where we are the underdogs in every match. Also in HLTV, we are the lowest ranked team. But I don't, I don't think it matters. I think it, uh, it all matters about if we can gain enough confidence during the matches. Hey, I feel like it's the really fun to be here, but just the thought that it's so long, long away from everything, I can't even. So in our first match, we play against Mouse, and me and Chris have been knowing each other for a very long time. It's like it's just, man, think about it more clearly when you're, yeah. Yeah, like really sure it's not really long since we have played with each other, so there's not much. It's going to be a weird match because there's a lot of like feelings going through. We know each other well, we know how each other likes to play. For me, it's probably the match who's go which is going to mean the most. Like Even if we go to the final, I think this will be the match where I have the most feelings. Det er vildt at tænke tilbage på, som du sagde med, at vi startede i Esmet, og så nu står man her, så yeah. den skal spille i Norge, ikke? Altså, det, det, er sygt. det er virkelig underligt. Of course I want to win more when it's the next teammate, because it means a little more, because we know each other, and it's just always nice to be able to have the backing rights. I think for a quarterfinal matchup, any time you've got one 16-year-old on one team and another 16-year-old on the other team that played with one another for a year, I mean, it adds more, doesn't it? It brings that spice factor and maybe that's fuel for hunger for not only Sira but for his teammates to say, out of any team, we want to beat these guys. It means a lot because I want to, I really want to win against him. It's not because I don't like him or something like that, but we are like some of the biggest talents in Denmark and. I want to be the, the best. I think this is a kid that uh, even I don't know a massive amount about. Um, he has got very limited pro experience. He's got less than 30 maps played. Here I can really put my name on the top of the list. I think even though there's uh, many cameras pointing at you and it's on LAN and you're sitting yeah, right next to your opponent, that doesn't add much to the pressure other than it actually gives me a bit of fuel uh, to want to perform even better. Yeah, even Chris and right, IGL, 16 years old, that's proper young. <laughs> this is his LAN debut, he's not played on LAN before. Let's go. I'm gonna ready us up. Oh. Went here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. ...over the last three months. We'll see whether the grind has paid off. Masonic Maus NXT, our second match in the Heroes of Lufferton as we kick things off on Overpass, our first map. Ah! 
I think right after we lost, I uh, was not really feeling anything. I was kind of just there. But I think a little time after, I was like disappointed. I expected more from us. It's really nice right now. We won against Mouse Next. Uh, I know the team has had some uh, issues playing them in the past, but uh, yeah, we we won pretty confident on uh, an overpass. This match don't change anything, like we just take one match at a time and we, a good win for us, it uh, gave uh, a lot of confidence and now I'm just looking forward to the upcoming matches. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually going to play Counter-Strike here. It is honestly amazing. Um, the setup, the, the environment, everything. Like I've been to so many different tournaments and I've never came to a setup like this. So the fact that they've managed to get this role in um, is, is special, really. For all the, all the people in the home, this is apple juice. It's definitely important to play, uh, do things outside of just playing. You know, especially as an academy team and young players, it creates team bonding, it creates a stronger connection when we do play those games. So I think it's massively important. Oi, ai, ai. Mitä fiiliksi? Huomenna prospektia vastaan. Hyvä fiilis. Tosi hyvä, tosi hyvä. Legit, legit. Meidän peli. Siisti reissu jo. Tämmösi lisää vaan. Niillä on se konfidenssi, kun voitti just Jungin, että ihan huolella, niin ei mitään. Me reitä alia tai Abdi. So yeah, last time this tournament was hosted, I think it was like last year or something, we won the tournament online. <clears throat> For us, you know, we want to win it again. We want to push ourselves to make sure that we defend this title going forward. Um, it's not something we're going to let down lightly. If we, if we win the trophy, I'm jumping straight off of there with the trophy like this. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break the trophy when I land in the water. <laughs> Uh, Fans Academy, well, they won the last Miss Games event, and looking back at that event, at the time, they weren't the favourite. So that was almost the one that put them on the map when it came to being successful. The issue now is Fans Academy is that their LAM results haven't been successful. They've choked up when it comes to the finals. So coming here to Lufferton, they've got a lot to prove, not only in the Miss Games circuit, but that they can do it on LAM. The only reason and the only thing we should focus on today is just having fucking fun. But I think the chances for Ents Academy are quite small. Prospect's form has been incredible over the last month or so. Yeah, I think I would rank us the highest actually, because we've been, uh, been playing pretty good recently and uh, showing good results. I think we have a really good chance of winning this tournament. Feeling good? Feeling confident? Ready as ever. How do you guys feel? Uh, feeling good, yeah. No. Like, no pressure at the moment, like, I think it's good. So the boys are looking super co uh, confident and relaxed. We, we, we're not going to talk too much about the game. We're just going to go there and do our job on the server. Yeah, we know prospects are a tough challenge. I've always said they're like a bogey team for us because we've had past games against them. We, we had a game where we lost. So it's time for us to get revenge, really. Happen in the next few hours. Pistol round of the first map up in our semi final series between Prospects and Ents Academy. As Davin Spook's not done, he gets silver. Poddy gets one to return and finally hype can strike. One tap to the head. UAC falls the same. And the Prospects continue the hype train from the quarterfinals. In game, UAC Poddy with a responsive but hype. Hey! 
more players put these poses than these, ready to strike. What a play from Juicy. That's well played. Bob Egg, stand with the AK instead, just lines him up and mows him down. And the prospects might have been tested, but ultimately their map pick is theirs. <laughs> Play with those. Gonna get checked by Spook, who gets that kill immediately and hiding away on the CT side. The very back in a jail. Henu doesn't check it. They're gonna line up and get knocked down like dominoes. Seven to one. If this second half, it's gonna be survival rounds, isn't it? If you start bringing in a comeback, you try and bring back the deficit, but it's large. It's a close. They're gonna try and adjust towards that. Get go down. Will he? No. He'll swing back for the denial. And Enter really getting back into this game now. Dwayne Kane, body alone. One more pick to his name. So many more to find. It's just too difficult. Six. 16 to 10, the prospects have done it again, taking the distance against Entz, but ultimately going 2-0 into the grand final. Yeah, straight after the game, I noticed immediately, even at the PC, that Milsey was uh, reflecting quite hard on, on his performance. And I know how sad you were. Mate, I felt sad after the early Salam final. I, was like, I, I did exactly what you did. I stood on my own, I wanted to emotionally break down, but that's because you care. We've had plenty of losses like this before, in life and in Counter-Strike. That's, that's what the human life's about. There's, there's ups and downs. Yeah. I feel bad as well, but like we have plenty of more chances like this coming. Plenty, trust me. And our time, and our time, it will come. It will come. Um, and don't ever blame yourself, you know, because the minute that you blame yourself is the minute that you'll just lose confidence forward and forward and forward going into the future. I feel bad, but listen, this experience has been one of the best experiences for us ever. Forget the CS. Yeah. The team bonding, the things we've done, this will make us so much fucking stronger as a team. Yeah. To see them now, I know deep down that it hurts. <laughs> to come here and lose the first match, it's also, it's, it's frustrating. Our goal is to come here and defend our title. We were super, super excited to do that and almost fired up to defend our title. But in CS, you like, you set these goals and you can't always obtain them. But I know it's all about the experience and using that to make us stronger. The team bonding we've had, the activities we've done, the content we've done, the way it's made us feel with the whole setup, it's gonna make us so much stronger. Of course, we need to reflect on the CS game, but we move. Hype is not showed up yet, so I'm uh, pretty stressed uh, about uh, if he's going to show up or not. That as of right now, they are missing Hype. I think that changes the complexion entirely on this grand final. I mean, this is probably one of the biggest curveballs we've had in the entire event so far. Det är som en mareritt, inte sant? Allt har gått så bra till nu, och så plötsligt så kollapsar det.